Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Notebook LM. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. Notebook LM is a free AI powered tool from Google to help you interact with and learn from your own documents. So we all love chatting with AI and asking it questions about the world, but what if you wanted to chat about something specific to you? Uh, maybe you've got a Google Drive folder that's just full of notes from an entire semester of classes, or you've got uh, specific articles that you're researching, or a wide range of writings that you're trying to compare and contrast. Well, with Notebook LM, you can feed the AI all of your own files, and then you can have a chat specifically about those files. Uh, you are allowed with this tool to create up to 100 different notebooks, uh, with each notebook having up to 20 sources. Those can include documents, PDFs, or just copied and pasted text. And each of those sources can have up to 200,000 words. So massive amount of content. Um, and then Notebook LM becomes an expert on the resources that you provide it. You can then ask the AI questions about the sources you provided. Um, and this is great for generating summaries or suggesting questions, reviewing for a test, explaining difficult concepts, finding connections between multiple documents. Let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to pop on over to Notebook LM. And uh, what you'll see when you get here, there's a couple example notebooks they'll give you. You can just play around with to kind of get used to how the system works. And then there's a spot where you can create your own new notebook. I've got a couple that I've been putting together here. So let's just pop into this one here. Uh, this is one where I was collecting together some articles um, about sargassum. Uh, sargassum is that uh, that seaweed that uh, um, every now and then uh, uh, comes up on the shores around Florida can kind of be kind, kind of be an issue there. There are quite a few articles about that, so I pulled those together and just started dumping them into this uh, notebook. I've only got four articles, but again, I could have up to twenty different sources to pull from here. Now, what's cool about this is once you've got the articles loaded in, you can just click on any article, and you're going to get some things right away. First of all, you're going to get a summary. So uh, Notebook LM is going to read through that PDF or that document or that copied and pasted text, whatever the case is, it's going to read through that and it's going to generate an AI summary for you. So that's really nice. You've got a, a good way to be able to quickly see what that particular text is all about. Then it also generates some key topics over here on the side uh, for that. Now, down at the bottom, we have a spot where we can start chatting. Now, there's some suggestions. It's giving us some options here. If you scroll across, we can see here some things we could ask, like what are the ecological uh, implications of the influx of sargassum into the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean regions, uh, and on and on. It's got some suggested questions, or we can just type in our own question here as well. Um, I'm going to do that, keep it really simple here. I'll just say, why is sargassum a problem? And I'll drop that in. And so what's going to happen now is the AI is going to be going through all four of those resources that I provided it, and it's going to be pulling key information from all of those. And here we go. So it has created this note saying, here are the reasons why sargassum could be a problem. It's talking about the health problems. It's talking about um, issues with dead zones in the water. It's talking about the terrible smell that it creates as as well. It's talking about how it's cutting out sunlight that is necessary for coral reefs. And again, pulling it from all of these articles there. Now, if I'm happy with that, and that's a helpful, useful note, I can easily just pin that, click on the little pin button there, and that will drop that up into my saved notes. And so I can start building up all of these saved notes on top of all of the uh, uh, files that I've collected here together as well. And of course, I could continue that conversation if I wanted to ask it more questions. And I can also create my own notes up here if I want. Now, that's where the tool's at right now today. Uh, you can, again, load up 20, um, 20 sources per notebook and start asking any questions you want. And it will compare, contrast, summarize, and pull content from those. 
The cool thing is it's getting even better. In my blog post, I do have some little sneak peeks they included in a recent post Google had done about what's coming next with it. And so in addition to everything we've seen, the uh, the new step is going to be able to then take all of these notes that you're collecting and then create things from those notes on top of that. So use the AI to ask questions about the resources, generate notes from those. And now you're going to be able to do things like, you know, combining notes together, summarizing notes, or grabbing a bunch of notes and then having it create something from them. So selecting a bunch of notes and say, hey, make a study guide out of these um, or, you know, create, uh, you know, an outline or, uh, you know, write, write a newsletter entry. You know, and you can really type in anything you want it to create based on that. So uh, I don't have access to that yet. Uh, that is still rolling out, but that's going to give even more power to this. Um, as far as uh, costs go, this is a completely free tool uh, that Google provides uh, and is available for uh, anybody to use. So if you have not yet tried out uh, Notebook LM, I would encourage you to give it a spin, load up some files, and start seeing what you can learn from those files with the help of AI. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.